Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how garage door opener wiring works. So, we got, this is a new mechanism. It's a newer mechanism. And these openers have, these Swift Master openers have, have this mechanism, different openers have different mechanisms like like different brands all different brands that except for Chamberlain and Craftsman have have different mechanisms if your opener is a lift master and from the openers that were made in 2007 those openers had had this mechanism just some of them did and not all of them, like, like I think the uh, Lift Masters 1345 existed until 2012. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, was available in the store until 2012, and then it discontinued. It discontinued. It had the screw terminals for the wire. It was just three terminals and and for my aunt's lift master her 3265 it works just like this one and the 8355 works the same way and and uh and let me think of other openers does that work the same way? Well, I don't think there's anything else, but by the way, the Sears does not work the same way. So we have these two, I mean four buttons it's easier to use them with the screwdriver. If you look closely, the, you'll see them orange, especially on camera. Because they're just really small, but, but if you look at them on camera, it's bigger. And even the travel limit buttons. And, and how it works is, if we push a button, the the button the wire disengages, and then if we if, and if we let go of the button, it it locks back in place, and and it and you'll have to have it all the way in in order for it to work. And for the wall controls, it's just a screw. And, and none of the wall controls that are newer have this mechanism. I mean, two of, of one of those holes for the wires. Okay, so let's go down to the seals and show you what it looks like. So, for the seals, for the seals, it's four screws. I do not know what the the what these two are. It could be the sensors or something else. I don't know exactly. And these ones are for the wall control. The W H T stands for white. B L K is for black and. Y E L is for yellow, and 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 you and this is a screw. You need to put a flathead screwdriver in, and and if we turn it counterclockwise, the wire gets looser, and if we tighten it, the wire gets tighter. And if it's too loose, the wire might become disconnected. And it won't work. So let's 
go down to the sensors and show you what it looks like from down at the sensors. Those, they're just, they come connected at first. The only way to disconnect them is to cut the wire, which that's quite annoying. I like the way the genie sensors are hooked up better than these ones because because we don't have to cut the wire. The newer genie sensors have the screw terminals that connect the wires and and for the older genie sensors they have a, a mechanism like like that one and like this one but two wire connections Okay, so well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like and smash the subscribe button and leave a comment down below and have a great day.